Namaskarams. I'm Meera Shredar. My heartiest Deepavali greetings to you all. Today, we are truly blessed to offer our Sangeetanjali to one of the greatest Vagyakaras of all times, Sri Muthuswami Dikshitar. It is very significant that Sri Dikshitar left his mortal coil on Deepavali day, Naraka Chaturdashi, when his disciples were singing the Krithi, Meenakshi Me Mudam Dehi in Purvi Kalyani, as they sang the lines, Meena Lochani, Pasha Mochani. Sri Dikshitar was born at Tirvarur in Tanjavu district. In his boyhood, he learned Vedas, Shastras and Sanskrit in addition to Sangeeta. His guru, Chidambaranatha Yogi, shaped him as a composer, musician and a jnani. His stay in Banaras for a period of six years gave him a lot of exposure and rich experience of Hindustani music. A divine experience that took place at Tirutani temple in which he had a vision of Lord Subramanya led him to compose a series of kritis on Guha known as Guru Guha Kritis. Guru Guha became his mudra. The most outstanding quality of Sri Dikshitar's music is its richness in Raghavava and Bhakti. Dikshitar, being a Vainika Gayaka, his Kritis were in Chaukakala and had Madhyamakala Sahityas at the end. They were rich in Gamakas and he used Raga Mudra and Swarakshara. He has compositions in all major Ragas and also some rare Ragas like Saranga Nata, Suddha Vasanta and Kumuda Kriya. He adopted Hindustani Ragas in Carnatic music like Brindavana Saranga, Hamir Kalyani, Dvijavanti and Shubha Pantuvarani. He is the only composer to have composed in all the Sapta Talas, example being the Navagraha Kritis. He had a remarkable gift in wielding Sanskrit fusing with Swaras, which he used in most Kritis, but has also composed in Mani Pravala. He was the first to compose Samashti Charana Kritis, that is, Kritis, where there is no Anupallavi. The Pallavi is directly followed by the Charana. He has composed the largest number of Samudaya Kritis, or group Kritis, like Navavarna Kritis, Navagraha Kritis, and Panchalinga Sthala Kritis. The first concert today, in the evening today, is by Srimati Saraswati K. Murthy on the Veena. <laughs> Srimati Saraswati Murthy learnt Carnatic vocal for four years at Sri Swati Trinal Academy at Trivandrum and passed Gana Bhushnam course with distinction. Further, she did two years with one course and passed with first class. In addition to the above, she learned Veena in Vidwan course for two years and passed with first class. Further, she did vocal music under the renowned music teacher Sri K. R. Kedaranathan at Trivandrum. Also, she learned Veena for two years under Sri K. S. Narayan Swami in Mumbai. She worked for two years as a music teacher in a private school in Trivandrum and she worked as a Veena teacher for about 23 years at Bharatiya Music and Art Society Madhuga. For the last 20 years, she has been conducting private tuitions in Veena and vocal for various students at home. She is also accompanied by her students, Srimati Radha Ramachandran and Srimati Prabha Ramji. On the Mridangam, we have Sri Prasad Balan Ayer. Sri Prasad has been a student of Karekuri Chandramauri at Mulun Fine Arts Society and then Guru Sri Erod Guru Rajan. Further, he continued under the tutelage of Guru K.V. Maniappan and has been his disciple for the last 15 years. He has won several prizes from institutions like Shanmukhananda Sabha. Sharada Sangeeta Vidyalaya, Bandra, Mulun, Fine Arts and others. He has been accompanying local 
and graded artist in and around Mumbai for almost 10 years now. Shri Prasad is a chemical engineer holding a master's degree in plastic engineering from UDCT, Matunga, and presently working as a professor at SIS Nehru. He is also pursuing his PhD. I request Radha ma'am to felicitate the artists. Shrimati Radha Ramachandra Shrimati Prabha Ramji Shri Prasad Palananya The concert will now come. Thank you. 